This is the skills practice for section 5.2. We're going to find the value of each variable. So in this one, they give you a triangle, and notice how it's a right triangle. So you know two of the angles of a right triangle. You can definitely figure the other one out using your triangle angle sum theorem. Or there's a shorter way to do it. You know the two acute angles of a right triangle, x and 55, have to add up to 90. So if you subtract 55 from both sides, you're going to end up with 35 degrees for that missing angle. Number three, they give you an angle, and you don't know two angles. And that seems like an issue. But these two angles are congruent, so we can put those marks on there if we wanted to. That makes this triangle isosceles. So if your vertex angle is 110 degrees, what's left over for each base angle that are the same? Well, you know there's 70 degrees left. 70 degrees divided by 2 gives you 35 for each angle. Okay, now the algebra says x plus x plus 110 gives you 180. So notice how that's 2x plus 110 equals 180. So there you go, 2x equals 70 when you subtract 110 from both sides. So divide by 2 and you get that same 35 that we just talked about. Number 8. Here's an exterior angle of a triangle. There's a theorem that says this exterior angle is the same thing. This one is the same thing as this one and this one added together. So a number plus 90, a number plus 90 equals that 135. Just subtract 90 from both sides. Got to be 45. We're going to look at 10 and 11 also, not because they're difficult, because they kind of seem like it because there's actually multiple triangles here. Be aware that there are three triangles in each of these examples. Okay, so if you start with this one, look at this right triangle right here. That's 50 and that's 90. So this angle right here must be 40. And if that's 40, notice how this angle right here is 90. So that makes this angle 50. If this angle's 90, right, these two lines are perpendicular, doesn't that make this one 90? So now you have a right triangle where you have a 50 degree angle and the other acute angle must add with 50 to give you the remaining 90. So this one's 40. Now, you can double check. Look at your big triangle, 50, 40, 90. That makes sense. Look at your little triangle, 50, 40, 90. Look at the other little triangle, 50, 40, 90. They all add up to 180. Same thing's going to happen over here. You have perpendicular lines, so that's going to be a 90 degree angle. If that's 90 and that's 48, then this angle right here um, is going to be the complement of that 48. So it's going to be 42. We'll skip down and do number 14. Looks tricky because of the variables. You can use the shortcut. You have a right triangle. So these two acute angles must add to 90. So you got a 3x and a 2x on the same side. That's 5x. Take away 10 from both sides. So 5x equals 80 divided by 5. x would be 16. Now watch yourself here because up top they said find the value of the variable. And yeah, we got it. But what do the directions say here? Find the measure of each angle. That involves plugging in. So 2 times x. It's 2 times 16. That gives you 32. 3 times 16 plus 10. That's 48 plus 10. 58. How do you know that you're right? 58 plus 32 equals that number you wanted from the beginning. That's how you know you're right.